Council members, you've picked a special night to be here tonight. And to all our audience, as I always say, we're so glad that you have come to City Hall and you don't have pitchforks and torches. <laughs> but this is a special occasion and there are some special members of our community who we would like to salute tonight. And I am going to start with the Blackman boys basketball team and I'm going to ask them and their coach please to step up here to the podium with me and let's give them a little bit of recognition if y'all would please come on up. Everybody on the uh, TV wants to see you now. I'm sure that we possibly have some parents, grandparents, <coughs> aunts and uncles, cousins, <laughs> siblings, others who are with the basketball team. So if you are a family member here or just a special person here to be with these basketball players, would you please stand and be recognized? Do we have some other family members here? It's a special occasion when a mayor, just before he's going out of office, gets to recognize state champions and even probably should be considered for national champions, I think. This is a tremendous accomplishment for Coach Barry Wortman, the Tennessee Boys Basketball Coach of the Year, the Blackman Boys Basketball Team, 28 and 6 won District 7 AAA's championship, won the TSSAA State Boys Basketball Championship, and I'm sure you're just tired of hearing all these accolades, but the first Rutherford County School to win the Boys State Championship since I was in high school. <laughs> 49 years ago. <laughs> So let's hope it's not another 49 years before you win again. But you're all winners. Our city council is particularly proud of you. Our residents cannot show you an, enough respect and for your accomplishments and what you've done. And I have put together a Blackman Blaze Day proclamation for you. And I ask all of our citizens on behalf of our city council to honor you and to encourage them to join in recognizing and honoring the significant contributions, visibility, and notoriety that your team and your coaches have brought to our city. Congratulations. Very, very much. Nice. Uh, which one of these is yours? Uh, to the left there. Uh, now, I'm sorry, to the right. Okay, for those of you who are wondering, the Boys State Basketball Trophy looks like that. <laughs> when I was in high school, it wasn't nearly that big. <laughs> so we're particularly proud that you did it. And you got to play and win in Murfreesboro. Yeah. Our team had to go to Memphis to play. So we got a road trip. You guys didn't. But thank you for winning anyway. We're proud you're here. <laughs> you can be seated. Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, it's a special occasion because at this time we have the Blackman Cheer Squad. And are they here? And would you please join me at the podium? Goodness gracious, look how many. <laughs> Come on down. And I'm sure we have some parents with these 
handsome and terrific looking folks. So if the parents and siblings and those who are here, would you please stand and be recognized at this time? Okay, we've got you here. Good. Now, where is Coach Heather? Heather? Congratulations, what a tremendous accomplishment. I'm gonna read a few of these, so and it may take a little while. <laughs> Coach Heather Wortman, the Blackman High School cheerleading squad won the TSSAA state championship. They won the National High School Cheerleading Championship in Orlando, Florida, and this is the third national championship that these folks have won in four years. So what a tremendous accomplishment. <laughs> and while everyone is standing for you, Heather, would you come over here and I have a proclamation again on Blackman Blaze Day for this cheerleading squad. Now, which one of these trophies is yours? The middle one. The big, the tall one. one in the <laughs> middle. All right. And then everybody wore their jacket, their outfit. How very nice to have that. What a great memento. I still have my dad's letter jacket from MTSU from 1940. So your kids and maybe your kids' kids will want to take care of those things. So you look out for them and keep them clean, OK? This is a tremendous accomplishment, and on behalf of our city council, we proclaim today Blackman Blaze Day and encourage all of our citizens to join in recognizing and honoring the significant contributions, visibility, and notoriety this team and its coaches have brought to our city. Congratulations. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> very, very nice. Thank you. Thank you for bringing them in. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. All right, while they're taking their seats, you're not going to believe this, but there is somebody else from Blackman High School that needs to be honored at the same time, and it is the Blackman girls basketball team. So we've got the girls basketball team. Chad, Tommy Bryant. How are you? We're glad to have you. Thank you. And how about some parents of this team? recognized if you're here. All right. We all know how much support and dedication uh, a parents have in making sure that we do the right thing, right? And one of these days you're going to be just like your parents and make sure your kids and the kids around you do the right thing. But let me read these accomplishments. This handsome young fellow right here <laughs> who I have to look up to, Blackman's girls basketball was 34 and one. And I believe you avenged that one loss, yes, did you not? Yes, <laughs> Coach Hibden, Chad Hibden, is the USA Today National High School Girls Basketball Coach of the Year and Tennessean Girls Basketball Coach of the Year. Quite an accomplishment. <laughs> This talented group of young ladies under the supervision of this handsome young fella and maybe somebody else back there, right? <laughs> somebody had to rule somebody had to rule the roost, right? They won the District 7 AAA Championship. They won the Region 4 AAA Championship. They won the TSSAA State Girls Basketball Championship. They were ranked number one in USA Today's Super 25 Girls Basketball. They were ranked number one in Max Prep's excellent top 25 girls basketball. They were ranked number one in ESPNW's power rankings for girls basketball, the first Rutherford County school to be ranked number one in all three national polls. Congratulations. What a tremendous <laughs> accomplishment. Very, very nice. Now, 
while everyone is standing because these folks need to be respected, I have another proclamation I want to present on behalf of our entire city council proclaiming April 24th is Blackman Blaze Day and also in Murfreesboro encouraging all our citizens to join in recognizing and honoring these significant contributions, the visibility and notoriety the team and its coaches have brought to our city. Congratulations, Barry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really tremendous. Very nice. Thank you all for being here. I want to thank all these team members and their parents and their coaches and the administrators because, as we know, it, it takes a village. Everybody's got to accomplish and work together. So we all share your accomplishments, but you all did it individually and as a team, and we certainly appreciate that. Uh, before I step uh, back up on the dais, I would like to ask somebody named Gail Vick to come forward, please, just for a few minutes and be recognized. Gail? Gail grew up in Robertson County. That is northwest of Nashville. It's on the other side going that way, That's isn't it? Right. Mm -hmm. She graduated from Springfield High School where she competed on the girls' basketball team. She continued her athletic career in sports at Austin Greensburg University. <laughs> Let's go P. Let's go P. Austin P. State University where she earned a bachelor's degree in mathematics in 1975. She later added a master's degree in education from Austin P. in 1982, followed by educational specialist degree in supervision and administration from MTSU in 1987. She began teaching at the Clarksville Academy. She coached girls varsity basketball at a private K-12 school. And after that, she moved back to Robertson County to teach math and coach junior high basketball for five years before transferring smartly done in 1982 to Riverdale High School where she was promoted to assistant principal in 88 and she has served at Riverdale until transferring to Blackman High School in 2000 another good choice and was named the school's second principal in 2004 she has decided like the mayor to retire <laughs> And so I am so proud of her, and our city council is so proud of you that we want to give you a proclamation for you being a dedicated educator of 39 years. And because of your desire to see students succeed both academically and athletically, you have made Blackman High School a successful learning institution, and you are deserving of this recognition. So on behalf of our council, I want to proclaim today as well as Blackman Blaze Day, a day to honor Ms. Gail Vick and ask all of our citizens to join me in this well-deserved recognition. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Thank you. You might want to say a little something. I can. I can. I We're proud of you. Thank you. What a wonderful day for our community. And I believe Mr. Lyons has a little something he wants to do. Is that right, Mr. Lyons? Just a minute. I'm sorry. If you'll wait just a second, Mr. Smotherman has something to say. Mr. Smotherman. Just very briefly, I want, I want to personally acknowledge the fact of what has been accomplished at Blackman High School in the last couple years. And, and when I got on the council a couple years ago, I, I know that these guys got tired of hearing me talk about Blackman High School because it, uh, my son was playing quarterback at the time and Chris Lilly's son was catching those footballs out there. And uh, it's a fantastic school, but not only are you preparing the students for athletics, you're also preparing them for life. And, and I can acknowledge that for, for a firsthand experience that uh, Mrs. Vick and, and her staff has done a phenomenal job of not only preparing you athletically, but preparing you academically. And I think that's the most important thing that they can possibly do. And uh, I personally want to say congratulations to each one of you. Thank you. You don't have to take the trophies with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> 
Yes, I understand. <laughs> you always got to do what the boss says.